What's up, what's up, what's up, Unlimited Fam? Hey, I hope everyone is doing great today. I uh, wanted to just come on and share really quickly with you guys something that I wrote in my book um, <clears throat> that's actually pretty profound if you think about it and something that I hadn't thought about until I started writing. So usually I go through in the morning and I'll write and I'll go through some of the uh, paragraphs that I've already written just to kind of see what I've said not so I don't repeat myself. And so, <clears throat> excuse me, I went way back a little bit just to kind of reread some things and I came across something that I wrote that I really wanted to share with you guys and I think it'll help. I think it'll help you um, think just a little bit about not just yourself, but perhaps someone else. So here we go. I won't give away where I am in the book of what I'm talking about in the paragraph, but this, these sentences, this thought process here really does like resonate. What does a 20 year old kid from the hood that grew up without any parents or proper guidance really know? I sometimes felt like the world was against me, my supervisors, my command, my friends, my acquaintances, my own life, all against me. Of course, that was far from true, but what is truth? I think in life there's three truths. Your truth, others' truths, and the truth. One doesn't necessarily trump the other truth. You see, your truth matters to you. It's your perception of the circumstances. And if, it, if it's the truth or not, it doesn't matter because it impacts you, your judgment and your attitude. You get that? No matter if it's the truth, if you believe it, it impacts you in your life. It impacts your thought process. It impacts everything you do. It doesn't matter if it's the truth, it's your truth. Wow, man, wow. Let me go on just a little bit, <clears throat> excuse me. So my truth was everyone is against me. I had to fight all of my life and well, I had to continue to fight because nothing can come to Dave easily. Although that there was some truth to that, that wasn't the truth. You see, truth in the Air Force, uh, the truth is the Air Force needed me to be able to do my job efficiently. And if I couldn't read or write, oh, I kind of gave away the paragraph, uh, it was about me first coming into the Air Force and needing to go to um, counseling because of my anger management and they actually sent me to remedial writing classes because I, I couldn't read or write um, far from the truth now but at the time boy I'm surprised I even got into the Air Force but it was hard work to get in I tried really hard so anyways not, not about me I wanted to just talk about the fact that like you have a truth you have a perception of a circumstance in your own mind. You have a perception of yourself in your own mind. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's the truth and it doesn't mean that it's everyone else's truth. Three truths, your truth, everyone else's truth, and the truth. Doesn't matter which one you're operating in. What you have to know is the fact that like, your mental state, what you're thinking, how you're thinking of things, if you're down on yourself, if you consistently say you're not worth <clears throat> whatever, you're not worth a new job, you're not worth a good relationship, that's your truth. And unfortunately, negative truth can become reality. I'll leave it with that. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Peace.